Audio Jungle. Like you have seen the previous class, I mean, previous session you had seen that uh, the concept of uh, Bernoulli equation where we can apply, where we cannot apply. Based on this, this is called application of Bernoulli equation. And now you know where you can apply that flow should be incompressible, flow should be steady, flow should be rotational. Then we will have the Bernoulli equation, okay, for the same streamline if you want to apply, then you need to integrate that uh, Bernoulli equation I have shown you in previous, so it was dp by rho plus bdb, yes or no? And if you integrate this between point 0.1 to 2, This will be constant, what you may get. For <coughs> because it is valid for incompressible flow. So incompressible means what? Density must be constant. So you can take density outside if you want. Dp one to two. Okay. So what you will get? <clears throat> this is nothing but that is constant. Now, if you go for it, I mean, if you solve this, then uh, what you may get? After the differentiation, it will be zero, no? Correct it. So, after integration, so this part will be what? Uh, P2 or you can say P1 to take this side this is nothing but this is B2 sorry P1 plus half rho V1 square is equal to P2 plus half rho V2 square this will be the value ok so, basically this is the one application of Bernoulli equation you are going to do, like you can find the value between two points you can apply a Bernoulli equation and you can calculate the value, like one question you can check. Okay, so this is the application. Question is consider consider an airfoil in in a flow. at the level condition ok conditions with a free stream velocity of
velocity of 50 meter per second at a given point on the airfoil on the airfoil the pressure is equal to zero point nine newton per five newton per meter square calculate the velocity at this point so this question we can solve by the Bernoulli equation okay consider an airfoil so you can say this is the airfoil yes or no free stream velocity it is given ok and that velocity they have given to us 50 meter per second <coughs> we have taken one point on a streamline just say this is the point this is point 2 and somewhere in the flow field somewhere here this is point 1 and this is what point 2 ok given point on the airfoil the pressure is equal to means P2 they have given to us how much 0 0.9 into 10 power 5 they have mentioned consider at sea level so consider at sea level so, point 1 is what? Free stream and it is at sea level. So, what is the pressure at sea level? It is 1.0, 1 into 10 power 5 Newton per meter. This is the sea level value 1.01 1 .01 or 1 into 10 power 5 or 1 bar simply. Okay. And what is the density here at the sea level? What is the cell, uh, density at sea level? It is nothing but it is nothing but 1.22 kg per meter cube. So they are asking what is the velocity at point 2? V2 they are asking. So simple. If you apply Bernoulli equation between two points of this formula, you can check what is the formula we have. The formula is P1 plus half rho V1 square is equal to P2 plus 1 by 2 because it is Bernoulli equation and it is valid for incompressible flow so density will be constant both sides. No? What will be V2 square? V2 square will be what? It is like uh, 1 by 2 rho V2 square is equal to P1 minus P2 plus half rho V1 square. Right? or you can say v2 is equal to p1 minus p2 ok divide by rho and uh, we have 2 also so you just multiply so 2 will come here 
रो विल बी डिवाइडेड सो रो केम हियर प्लस ओनली वी वन स्क्वायर इन चेक द कैलकुलेशन नाउ इफ यू सॉल्व दिस टू पी वन इज व्हाट 1.01 और व्हाट 1.01 E1 minus P2. This is what P2. So 1.0, 1 tend to power 5 minus what is the P2? 0.9 I think. It is divided by 1.22 plus what was the V1? I think 50, 50 meter per second. No? Hmm. So this is the Like application of Bernoulli theorem, okay. So <clears throat> if you solve this, let me calculate this value. What you get? So you may get nearby. 142.6 meter per second. This is what we lost. This is the answer. So, <coughs> what I wanted to do, I just wanted to do one thing only to show you like how to apply Bernoulli equation. Okay, how to get the results. Similarly. This Bernoulli equation also you can apply for the converging diverging nozzle. That is another one application. So this is the application. One 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 marks question they are asking based on this application of Bernoulli's. Equation <coughs> point two. What is the point you are going to take? You are going to take point which is called flow through flow through a converging flow through a. Converging, diverging nozzle means what? Converging, diverging nozzle means what? CD nozzle, right? If you check, this is what? Converging, diverging nozzle. All right. Now, how to apply that? Uh, So basically, if you check minimum area, this is what throat. This is what inlet, which is nothing but converging section. Okay. This is what. Diverging section. All right. That flow is what going to intake here, like this, and going to exit here, like this. You can take any two points. Let us consider this is point at throat, point two, and this is the point over. Two continuity, I mean two equation we have, right? What are the two equation? One is called <coughs> energy equation. Which is nothing but Bernoulli equation. 
between two points i can say here the pressure is what t1 velocity is what v1 and definitely area here area is what a1 here we have pressure p2 velocity v2 and area is what a2 we can say right fine now <coughs> if you write the bernoulli equation the bernoulli equation we are usually to apply p1 rho v1 square is equal to p2 plus half rho v2 square this is equation 1 second is mass r continuity equation what is the mass flow rate m dot that is rho a v which is constant mass flow rate will be constant that is the continuity equation or mass conservation so between two points you can apply so what you may get you may get rho a1 v1 rho a2 v2 here because it is incompressible flow so rho1 is equal to rho2 what you got you got a1 v1 is equal to this is equation number 2 and this is equation number 1 anything <coughs> if you if they say calculate v2 or v1 anything you can up calculate yes or no what you can write you can write this 1 by 2 rho v1 square minus 1 by 2 rho v2 square is equal to p2 minus p1 no? take this you can write like this then what you will get you get v1 square minus v2 square divided by 2 rho check 2 rho Up rho v square, right? So rho will be in numerator. Okay. This is equal to what we have. P two minus P one. So v1 square minus v2 square is equal to what? Two p2 minus p1 divided by rho. <coughs> what is v1 square? It is v2 square plus. Or you do one thing. What you can do here? One more substitution you can do. Question they are asking based on this. So what you will do? Take v1 square common. What you may get? One minus v2 square by v1 square is equal to two v2 minus v1 divided by rho. Check <coughs> that continuity equation. What is the v2 by v1? V2 by v1. B two by B one. It is nothing but A one by A two. Yes or no? So here B two by B one means what? It is A one by A two. Hmm? So here you can write one minus A one B two by B one whole square. You can write. So here it is nothing but. A one by A two whole square. Now this is two. All right. 
Now, what will be the V1 square? V1 square you can write. K2 minus P1 divided by rho in bracket 1 minus this is the velocity. So, this type of question they are asking, they are giving the area ratio, okay, A1 by A2 or sometimes A2 by A1. They are asking the velocity, so you will be able to answer such type of question. So, when you will able to answer, when you know the application of the Bernoulli equation. Hope you understood this, okay. So, like today what I have covered, that I just want to recall you, like I have explained momentum equation. Then momentum equation in like all three axes in differential form I have shown you. From the momentum equation, we have uh, shorted it with different boundary condition and uh, a different different condition. Then we we got the Euler's equation, and from the Euler's equation after integration, we got the Bernoulli equation. And that Bernoulli equation also we had seen the different condition when it is applicable, uh, when it is valid along the streamline, and when it is valid throughout the flow field or anywhere in the flow field that two different conditions but very important that I had explained you. Then finally we have seen that uh, application of the Bernoulli equation. One more thing like Bernoulli equation for the different different uh, energy uh, per unit mass energy per unit weight that also we had seen okay that is specific energy no? so overall the thing like till now we have covered the conservation equation okay all mass conservation momentum conservation and energy conservation all right now <coughs> for the next session we have to go for uh, the different different type of the lines like path line, streamline, streak line, equipotential line, yes or no. So, different different lines we have to go through it. Alright, keep doing hard work. Thank you. Thank you all.